Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, one of my favorite things to do as superintendent is to visit schools to observe teaching and learning. And today, I'm gonna to have an opportunity to visit with some fourth grade students who are gonna teach me a thing or two. Come on in. This week I am learning to use basic facts to multiply by 10, 100, and 1,000. Exciting. So, teach me. Okay, so I got four times nine. Mm -hmm. This is my basic fact. So then I would, so what it, it equals 36, you know, right? Right. So I will put 36. So then I would go nine, four times 90. Well then you're like, hmm, what is it? And then, then, you th then my teacher's been teaching me four times nine, which is, well, obviously 36, and if you add a zero, that's your answer. Oh! So, 360. That's cool. Yeah. And what's the next level? So then... So you're adding the two four zeros. Four times 900, so that would be four times nine is, six, is 36. Mm -hmm. Then I add the two zeros, which would be 3,600. Wow. And then I would go four times nine thousand. Right? But then, uh, but this, the four times nine stays. So four times nine is thirty-six. So the four times nines will always be thirty-six. Yep. So then you go thirty-six, add the three. And now I'm at thirty-six thousand. Yep. Wow. So it doesn't matter what, what numbers you use. It could be two times eight, uh, all the way down. It's just adding the zeros. Yeah, but it would have to be in order. Have to be in order. order. Yeah. Well, wow, wow, that is something new. I learned something new today. Yeah, I didn't know maybe I could do that. I used to just do it in my mind, just like, hmm, 12 times 12 is 144 or something. But I didn't know I could use that method. So then there's also nine times nine. Got it. So that's sort of the basic fact. And then, so that would be 81. So then I would go nine times 900, well, oops, nine times 90. Then you stick with the nine times nine. So nine times nine is 81. I add a zero, so I'm like, oh, I have this, 810. And then I have nine, nine times 900, so nine times nine. Add the two zeros. I would have, well, I have 30, oh, no, I mean, 81. Add two zeros, would be 8,100. So then if I add the nine times 9,000, which was 81, I add three zeros, I get 81,000. Wow, that is absolutely wonderful. It was obviously that your teacher has done a great job of giving you a variety of different strategies to solve these multiplication related problems. And, uh, and so let me ask you a quick question though. Um, so when you take any type of assessment, you're gonna, you're, gonna, you're gonna use this strategy. Sometimes, if it's like this, if I have the questions like this. Right, if it's questions like that. But either way it goes, this gives you an opportunity to think through the answer either yes. way, right? You'd be able to think through what are the strategies that I can use. This is just one strategy. Yeah. Well, good. Well, I appreciate you showing me that. And uh, I'm going to take that back and I'm going to uh, use that strategy in the future if, if, if I need it. So I appreciate that. Thank you.